trucks crammed with troops banked up as they waited for orders to move into the square. At each intersection, shots sprayed from the vehicles. The entire square was like a military compound. There were dozens and dozens of vehicles, tanks and APCs lined up, lots of troops, helicopters coming and going. A column of tanks and armoured personnel carriers was coming out of Tiananmen Square right past our hotel. It suddenly stopped. There was a man holding shopping bags, standing in front of the tank, the lead tank. This man then clambers up onto the tank and squats down and starts remonstrating with the tank commander. He then gets back down again. The tank tries to move, it tries to manoeuvre around him. And every time the tank moved, the man with his shopping bags in each hand jumped in front of it. Four or five other people on the side of the road rushed over, fearing for his life, obviously, rushed him off, took him out of the other side of the road, and he disappeared out of sight, and he disappeared forever. He took a stand. It became one of the most iconic images of the 20th century of all time. He has been an inspiration to so many people. The most obvious thing is to think that, you know, he was caught and captured and killed, um, but we'd all like to think that he melted away into the crowd and he's, he's still out there somewhere safe. <laughs>